Yo, what's up, Knicks fans? We got news this morning that Mitchell Robinson is going to be out for the next 8 to 10 weeks due to an ankle injury, and he's actually going to undergo ankle surgery. If you remember on Friday, he left that game against the Boston Celtics, did not start the second half, did return to the game, but after additional tests this weekend, it showed that he needed surgery, and he is going to be out for an extended period of time. Coming up on the show, we're going to go over the top Mitchell Robinson replacements and what the Knicks have to do to stay afloat in the Eastern Conference. But first, I just want everyone watching to show Mitch some love. This was the best season he had had in the NBA. In my opinion, he was playing like a top 10 center in this league. And to see him go down after this awesome start, it's upsetting for me, and I know it's absolutely upsetting for him. Show him some love, though. Type those 23s down in the comment se section for Mitchell Robinson. You're watching Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. Let's dive into it. We're going to look at seven potential Mitchell Robinson replacements. Two on the roster. Obviously, we'll start with these guys. We've got three guys that they could add from external teams, external options. And I've got two NBA veterans that I've already been asked about if the Knicks could go and sign them. But the Knicks have been here before with Robinson missing extended periods of time. To be honest with you, it seems like every year he at least misses a couple of weeks, and he did that last year. Mitch missed 14 straight games from January 20th to February 15th last year. And in that 14-game stretch, the Knicks went 8-6. and six. They were able to stay afloat, and they really started to hit their stride when he returned and they made that trade for Josh Hart. He missed 23 games all of last year, and in those games, the Knicks were just one game over 500, sitting at 12 and 11. If you remember last year, though, when Robinson was out, it was Jericho Sims who was ins inserted inside that starting lineup when Robinson missed those 14 straight games. A lot of people thought it was going to be Isaiah Hartenstein, but it was actually Jericho Sims, and the Knicks had a winning record. You look at what he did in that stretch. The numbers aren't going to blow anyone away by any measure, but he did a lot of things that helped keep this team on track. 4.2 points per game, that's never going to be a strong suit. But he was good on the glass, 6.3 rebounds, and he still gave you that offensive rebounding presence at 2.3. Steals per game at about a half of, half of a steal as well as a block per game. And while I do fully expect for this defense to somehow get worse than it has been in the last two games, you are going to have to change your game plan, and it'll be a different attack. We know what Mitchell Robinson is. He is an elite Rim protector. He's extremely long and lengthy. He can play the passing lanes. Whereas Jericho Sims is really a better lateral athlete. And I think he provides a little bit better of a switchability option at that center position. So I'm expecting for Tibbs to change that defensive game plan, go with a more switching approach on pick and rolls. And Jericho can kind of sit in the chair in a little bit and play defense there. And I don't mind starting Jericho Sims once again this year because I do like the chemistry that Isaiah Hartenstein does have with that bench unit involving Quentin Grimes now on there. I want to see him play a little bit better off ball. I think having a playmaking center can help with that. But what I don't want to see is the same minute distribution that we saw last year. In those 23 games that Mitchell Robinson did not play, Jericho Sims and Isaiah Hartenstein averaged the same amount of minutes per night. And let's be honest with ourselves. As much as we like the upside and potential that Sims brings, Isaiah Hartenstein is a much better basketball player, and he gives the Knicks the best option to win if he plays more minutes. I would rather this see in, at a 46-minute split be right down the middle. I would rather it see closer to 30 and 15. You look at what Hartenstein did last year with Robinson on the floor and without Robinson on the floor. At the beginning of the season last year, he struggled, had that back injury, and then Robinson went out, and Hartenstein kind of just fell into the player that he is now. He worked to that point. The scoring is obviously up. The rebounds are almost up two per night. I would think the assists per game would be up, and I expect that to take a leap this year. We've seen what type of playmaker he could be at the top of the key. The blocks per game go up. Seals per game go down a little bit. Hartenstein is a really good player. I think he's one of the best energizing bigs off the bench in the Eastern Conference. I want to see him play a lot of minutes. I don't mind if he stays coming off the bench, but I want him to have way more minutes played than Jericho Sims in this stretch. I'll ask you this question before we get to those external options. Who would you rather see start this stretch? Eight to ten weeks. That's going to be a lot of games. A lot of games. You're probably going to get to the all-star break 
and Robinson may just be coming back. Who do you want to be the starting center for the Knicks going forward? Sound off for me down below. Coming up next, three guys that I think the Knicks could either sign in free agency or a guy or two that they could go and make a move for in the trade market, and one may just be a New York Knicks legend. But first, I got to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Waterboy. Go to waterboy.com slash chat sports. Get hooked up with them. I'm a huge fan of Waterboy. Sometimes after these long watch parties, the next day, they're a little bit rough, but I'm able to stay hydrated and be on my feet with Waterboy. Go to waterboy.com slash chat sports. I'll put all that information down in the comment section below. And with the holidays approaching, our sponsor Waterboy is here to help you prepare for, the, for those nasty holiday hangovers. There's nothing worse than feeling like a Grinch while everyone else in the family is rocking around the Christmas tree. Waterboy is a hydration powder scientifically formulated to cut your hangover time in half. There are other hydration packs on the market, but nothing comes anywhere close to fighting those Sunday scaries like Waterboy. With zero sugar and over three times the electrolytes of liquid IV, your hangovers will stand no chance. Unlike the com competitors, Waterboy has added specific ingredients beyond just hydration to help with your nausea, anxiety, and fatigue. We all know that hydration isn't alone to help after a holiday bender. Hundreds of thousands of people already trust Waterboy as their hangover cure. It's time to stop dealing with that anxiety, anxiety alone. For a limited time, Knicks Now listeners get an exclusive 15% off discount with our link, waterboy.com slash chat sports. That's 15% off at waterboy.com slash chat sports. I love the flavor of this thing, and I also love the way it makes me feel and the ability to continue to pump out daily content for all you real ones. Get hooked up, hooked up with them. All the information will be in the comments and description of this show. When it comes to Mitchell Robinson replacements, even when it includes Isaiah Hartenstein and Jericho Sims, I don't know if I made a big enough point of this, it's going to be really hard. He is the sole, I would say, outside of Jalen Brunson, maybe the most important player on this basketball team. The Knicks' offensive game plan is built around Mitchell Robinson, shots on net like a hockey team, and get more possessions with the offensive rebounds. And on defense, it's funnel everything to the middle and let a guy like Mitchell Robinson control the paint. None of these guys I'm about to show you can do that job. But if there is someone I would want to see maybe do it, how about you pick up the phone, Tom Thibodeau, and call your good old buddy Taj Gibson. Taj Gibson is a free agent, and he was recently on NBA radio at the end of November, and he said... I may be a free agent, but I am still staying in NBA shape. And I absolutely love the presence that Taj Gibson could bring to this team. Of any of the guys that we're about to talk about the rest of this show, the only external move I would make is actually for Taj. I love what he did, not just on the court, which we know what Taj is going to bring you. I love what he brings to this organization, to this basketball team, and inside the walls of a locker room. When you think about sometimes what this team lacks a little bit, it's a veteran presence. It's a leader. And honestly, when you're a team that is coached by Tom Thibodeau, who's always griping at you, always harping on the little things and the details, sometimes that voice can get a little bit drowned out, and it doesn't hit the same way it used to. But for a guy that you could bring in like Taj Gibson, he can echo what Tom Thibodeau is already preaching, and he already has a relationship with a couple of guys on this team. Whether you need him or not, I would just like to bring Taj Gibson back. He's a New York guy and he's New York through and through. What about a trade? Andre Drummond, a backup big on the Chicago Bulls right now. When you talk about the main things that are going to be lacking with Mitchell Robinson not playing minutes for you over the next month, month, two months, it's going to be offensive rebounds and really just dominating the glass. And if the Knicks want to stick to that same type of script, Drummond can fill a little bit of the void that Robinson left. And just 13.2 minutes per game, Andre Drummond is averaging 6.7 rebounds and 2.8 offensive rebounds. He's given you pretty much a, a rebound every two minutes and almost an offensive rebound every four minutes. If you want to continue to try to be the team that beats teams up inside, dominates the glass, and gets you extra offensive and offensive possession, Drummond is probably the best option out there. And what would it cost is the question. Does a second rounder potentially work if you call up the Chicago Bulls. The Bulls are in a weird spot right now. They're almost they're contemplating hitting the reset button or just letting it roll for a couple more games. And maybe a team that's low on draft picks, as I was talking to Patrick Seaman, who you guys know and well, maybe a second rounder could get it done for a veteran center like Andre Drummond. If you want to go with a completely different approach than you have right now, 
which they probably won't, but I actually like this idea a little bit. What about trading for Kelly Olenek? Like the Bulls, the Jazz are not a good basketball team, and I think they would rather pick up future picks that could help the team, this team down the line instead of relying on a guy like Kelly Olenek. And how weird do we want to get? Like, do we want to get just kind of weird or maybe maybe just a little bit weird? Kelly Olenek would give this team a stretch five. And I do believe that Olenek could stay a part of this rotation when Mitchell Robinson returns, and it's because of what he's able to do on the offensive end. In 21 minutes per night, he's giving you eight points per game, five and a half rebounds, almost six, uh, four assists, excuse me. So he can also play kind of that same perimeter playmaker at a big spot like Hartenstein does. But it's the efficiency that I really, really like from Olenek. He's shooting almost 60% from the floor and nearly 50% from downtown on nearly two three-pointers a night. The Knicks need a backup power forward. And by no means is Olenek going to give you any sort of defense. They can help you stretch the floor a little bit. And I wouldn't mind seeing a Mitchell Robinson and Olenek duo on the court at a couple of times. And kind of like the same thing with Drummond. What's it going to cost? Maybe a second-round pick or two. Leon Rose, you stockpiled all these draft picks for moments like this. An injury arises, and you now have this draft capital and what you like to call trade currency to make a move happen. You have 11 tradable first-round picks over the next seven drafts. One, where the hell are all those guys going to play? And two, you should use some of them and cash in some of those poker chips and be able to improve this team. Because right now, you're looking, you're looking at a fork in the road. Do you rely on the Knicks without any improvements? Which I think could make some sense. But two, also, are you worried that this team, this could really derail your future? Maybe you need to add somebody right now. Two more guys I want to talk about. And we asked how weird you wanted to get with Kelly Olenek. Now I'm going to ask you how weird you actually want to get. What about signing some NBA 2K13 legends? What about DeMarcus Cousins, who was supposedly signing a contract in China four weeks ago? Or Dwight Howard? Dwight's been in the news for a whole lot of things. But if you just boil it down to inside the paint and inside the hardwood, Dwight Howard kind of gives you a little bit of a rim protector, a little bit of an alley-oop threat, and some veteran leadership, and maybe a couple of other things as well. And DeMarcus Cousins, everybody loves DeMarcus Cousins. Everybody loves Boogie Cousins. If Boogie wants to end his career as a New York Nick, sign me up for it. Sign me up for it. Oh, seriously, though, the only guy I would actually add, if I had to power rank them, I'm going to go Taj Gibson one. I'll go, honestly, Kelly Olenek two and probably um, Drummond three. I would go Drummond three. The other two guys, yeah, it's probably just not going to happen at this point. As always, I just want to say thank you, and I appreciate you for tuning in to Knicks Now. We'll be live on the channel for the game Wednesday night. It's going to be a late-night tip on the East Coast, so we'll find out who the real ones are. Subscribe and turn your notifications on for free Knicks content every day.